Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and brr, it's, the cold just keeps rolling along. Let's get right to the, some Skycam imagery this morning, and um, couldn't help but enjoy this shot at Demopolis, where uh, we're seeing the clouds lit from behind with the moon uh, high in the sky there as we're looking down the, the river. Um, also, one of my favorite shots is uh, up at Chiha, and I was uh, checking to see if there was any snow still up there, but uh, not in this shot anyway, and we're seeing a little bit of color in the eastern sky and certainly a little bit of color down at Dauphin Island, uh, where, by the way, the temperature this morning is a chilly 36. Temperatures just plain cold across the eastern two-thirds of the country. And boy, up in Canada, look at those values. Those white areas, minus 40s. Oh, gosh. Talked to my daughter yesterday, and she went to work with a low of minus 4 at O'Hare in Chicago. I tell you, I'm ready for spring already. On our surface map, we have high pressure over the eastern part of the country, but that is still allowing some clouds, which of course helped us overnight because the clouds came in during the uh, early part of the nighttime hours. And as a result, our temperatures didn't fall quite as cold uh, as they could have, especially with the single digit dew points that we have. In the upper atmosphere, this pattern is just plain stuck. And as you're going to see in the GFS forecast, it continues to be stuck with a long wave trough over the eastern half of the country. And because of that, we're staying a bit nippy. Nippy is the word when it comes to the winter or the watch warning map. And we're seeing all those pink areas represent some winter weather advisories. So nothing's that tremendously bad, but certainly uh, keeping things uh, hopping for some folks as they. Uh, are experiencing some uh, winter weather, at least uh, minor winter weather. QPF-wise, we're looking at some rain primarily Monday and Tuesday across the southeastern U.S., uh, but of course a pretty nice bullseye up there in the mid-Atlantic states uh, due to this uh, low that's moving on. All right, here's the uh, 060 GFS model run. And there goes our surface low, and notice the 540 line all the way down into the northern Gulf of Mexico. So uh, cold air certainly gripping the eastern half of the country. The uh, long wave trough position just stays anchored over the eastern part of the country. And along with it, we're seeing a number of different uh, impulses uh, represented by the little X's and uh, the yellow areas, the vorticity uh, centers, and you can see one out over or just south of the Four Corners area, one coming through the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, most of those are going to be relatively dry, so the result is for Sunday, with surface high, we will stay pretty much uh, without any precipitation, but uh, at least some snow in the midsection of the country. Again, the long wave trough position stays over the eastern half of the country, and we have a nice uh, a little trough coming through the flow there uh, over Iowa and uh, Illinois. And, of course, that uh, is going to bring more cold air our way as well as some chance for at least a little precipitation. But right now it would appear that for Monday uh, the chance of rain is not that high, around 40% or so, as well as it's probably going to be rain. Uh, the trough comes by us on uh, Tuesday at midday. And, of course, you can see that nice, uh, strong northerly fetch, which keeps things real cold. And the bottom line is that uh, the precipitation will probably be rain much of Tuesday. But uh, as that uh, gets reinforced, uh, we'll probably see a changeover uh, to uh, snow Tuesday night or very early Wednesday morning, but a very brief changeover, uh, primarily because there's just not that much moisture. In the upper atmosphere on Wednesday, we stay uh, dry, but we stay cold. You can see the trough still over the eastern half of the country, and we certainly stay that way on Thursday with some reinforcements. You can see a trough coming through, a little uh, short wave coming through East Texas, and uh, that could play some mischief in the Gulf, but it looks like it'll be a little too far south to... Uh, uh, give any mischief to the southeastern U.S. Uh, that zips along the very fast flow as we have here on Friday. Uh, so um, uh, with, with the fast flow, we're seeing, of course, uh, another little surface low up over the Ohio River Valley that will give them some 
precipitation and some snow. And then finally, uh, at Saturday, a week from today, uh, still you can, you can see the long wave trough carved out of the eastern half of the country, and it looks like we should be uh, dry with a surface high centered over uh, about Tupelo or so, uh, northern Mississippi. By the way, I did want to show one quick thing here. This is the uh, model sounding for uh, Monday afternoon uh, around 6 p.m. for Birmingham and uh, certainly would indicate a small chance for rain as well as the fact that it, the atmosphere is just going to be too warm uh, for anything to occur. Now, going out into voodoo country, uh, the big thing I want to show, and, and yes, there's uh, the GFS is bringing some uh, possible snow events to the southeastern U.S., but rather than uh, try to deal with any specifics like that, look at this pattern. I mean, first of all, the, the big trough remains, the long wave trough position, while we get these little short waves moving through, giving us uh, brief disturbances and brief periods of precipitation. Uh, the long wave trough position stays over the eastern half of the country. And then when you go out, and that's the 2nd of February, and if you go out to the 6th of February, uh, you can see that there's just simply no change to that uh, overall pattern uh, with this very fast flow and, and shortwave troughs moving through the flow. Uh, so it's the timing of those that's going to be uh, critical to any kind of forecast. But at least I think the GFS probably has the right trend here and certainly uh, no indication that the cold is going to be gone anytime soon. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by uh, 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.